Alright folks, so today we're doing something a little different. We are looking at some effect pedals by Sushi Box FX. These pedals are made locally here in Illinois by a gentleman named Nathan. I was fortunate enough to reach out to him recently and uh, make a new connection. I always love making a new local friend who's in the industry. So I've been kind of looking for a way to get a little bit of uh, tube warmth back in my signal. I've been using my Metropolis bass, my Cyric Metropolis that's loaded with Alembic pickups and preamp and a lot of uh, solid state heads lately. And I've just been feeling just a little bit sterile, just missing a little bit of that grit. So uh, Ian Martin Allison suggested that I check out the Finally by Sushi Box, which is, as you can see, a tube direct box, high voltage. And when I reached out to Nathan, he said that I might also be interested in checking out the Underground Accelerator, which is the same pedal, uh, except it features a preamp stage. So we're going to take a look at both of these today because they have a lot of similarities, but also a lot of differences. And I just want to kind of walk you through them. I would like to start with the finally. So as I mentioned, it's a tube direct box. As you can see, there's a DI here. There's an XLR out. You will always get the saturated, the tube saturated signal running out of this XLR. However, you have the option to also send it out of your quarter inch or bypass it. So you can send a completely clean bypassed signal through to your pedals and amp. If you're using uh, you know, an amp that already has a tube preamp perhaps or something like that, or you can choose to send the saturated signal out to your pedals and amp as well, which is a very handy feature. You've got a ground lift here, which is a great thing to have in live situations. You've got gain, which controls the amount of saturation and your level, your volume. Now the underground accelerator does not have a XLR out. This is just a pedal. So think of this more like an EQ slash boost gain and even kind of a little bit of a drive pedal. There's a lot this can do. Um, you've got treble, bass, and mids here. You've also still have your gain, your saturation, and your master level. And you also have this EQ on or off switch. Um, we're gonna get back to this later because there's some interesting things that happen when you uh, take the EQ signal in or out of this pedal. One thing to note, this EQ circuit is based off of the Alembic F2B. And what's interesting about this one is that the flat response is actually treble and bass at zero and mids at 100%. So you can kind of think of it like bass and treble are boost only, mids are cut only. But let's go back to the finally. I wanna start here and show you uh, some of the settings that I like and just uh, show you the range of this thing. Before we do that, um, we're gonna go ahead and just give you my dry signal. So right now I've got this in dry pass and I'm just gonna give you the clean signal that's coming out of the quarter inch um, output no no gain no tube saturation in this at all here we go now let's hear the xlr out uh, this is just going to be the xlr signal so bass right into the pedal and right back out you will be getting the tube saturation but none of the coloration of my amp and I would like to note that I've been on the neck pickup of my Metropolis, and I'm not using any of the onboard uh, tone shaping on this bass. So hopefully you can hear what that tube saturation is starting to do to the signal, adding a little bit of warmth and wooliness to it, and also a little bit of dimensionality. It kind of just um, 3 Dfies the sound a little bit, just gives it a fullness. Um, so now let's just focus on this XLR signal. Uh, we're not gonna worry about the dry signal right now, and let's just see what the gain can do here. So we've had it at about 25% which you'll get a little bit of tube saturation, but really not a lot of breakup. Let's take that up to 50%. We'll take our level down just a bit to compensate for the extra gain there. And let's hear what this sounds like. So we can hear we're starting to get a little bit more grit on the signal, a little bit of breakup. 
Uh, it's a nice sound. So now let's go ahead and just dime the gain. And let's hear what this thing sounds like. It's pretty much a uh, tube overdrive pedal. <laughs> same thing with the bridge pickup of my bass. Um, really like what this, uh, what this little tube can do. It's a 12AX7, by the way. Um, one thing to note, though, you know, you see there's no foot switch here. So this is kind of a set it and forget it box, in my opinion. You're not going to be messing around with this game too much in a live situation I would think because you're sending this signal out to the front of house and you really don't want to be messing with your volume and your gain that's going to front of house at a show I mean especially if you're not working with your own sound guy someone's gonna step away from the board you know to go get a beer and if you mess with this you might be you know blowing the house system up so what I like to do is I actually like to send this signal through my quarter inch so I can hear what the gain is doing and then I can get a good idea of what kind of volume I'm sending out of the XLR. And so what I'll usually do is I'll set the gain where I like it, which for me somewhere between 9 o'clock and noon. I like a little bit of breakup once I start to dig in, but overall I want my signal clean otherwise. I have other dirt pedals in my, uh, on my pedal board. So I'll start there. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll hear my dry signal and then I'll switch over to pre and I'll just try and match and get like sort of unity gain. So maybe right about there where there's just a little bit of boost. Here's dry. Right. And so you're just getting a little bit of extra gain. So, you know, I can hear it working and then I can have sort of direct um, audio feedback of this saturation right from my amp. So here's what that sounds like coming out of the quarter inch with my amp coloration. get a good idea of what the finally is all about get a little bit of tube saturation in your signal send it to the front of house there's no better you know more simple option that i can think of out there for this really great job nathan really liking this pedal